Hello, I'm Farida Shaibu. Our headline story, workers of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation threaten nationwide industrial action if their board is not dissolved with immediate effect. This and many more stories will bring you right here on City News Daily on City TV. Now to our first story, workers of the state broadcaster, the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, are threatening a nationwide strike if their board is not dissolved with immediate effect. The workers who have accused the governing board for mismanagement are asking the National Media Commission to dissolve the board immediately. According to the workers, appeal made to the National Media Commission have proved futile, hence the needed attention. Speaking at the staff there but this morning, Samuel Aite, who is a union leader at the corporation, says if the board is not dissolved, it will lay down their tools. Now to our second story. The staff and faculty members of the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, GEMPA, say they will not petition the National Council for Tertiary Education, NCTE, because of a possible conflict of interest. GEMPA staff have been advised by the Deputy Minister in Charge of Tertiary Education, Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa, to formally petition the NCTE for investigations to commence into the demand for the dissolution of their governing council. But the NCE claims no such petition has been sent to them. Thus, according to the president of GEMPA Senior Staff Association, Dr. Stanley Kofi, is because the executive secretary of NCTE serves on the board they are seeking to dissolve and therefore they do not want any interference. Now moving on, the minority in Parliament has cast doubts about the viability of government conversion of polytechnics into technical universities, saying the concept has not been well thought through. According to them, government must rather take steps to strengthen technical and vocational education at the pre-tertiary level and already existing structures in the polytechnics before ruling out the conversion. Speaking to City News Daily, after the second reading of the Technical Universities Bill in Parliament, the Minority Spokesperson on Education, Professor Dominic Fobi, says government is rushing through with the conversion to score political points. Now to our final story, the 2016 edition of CTFM's Right Away Contest has been officially launched. The Right Away Contest is an annual competition geared towards building a vibrant culture of reading and writing among young peoples between the ages of 10 and 14. This year, contestants are expected to write a story ending with the phrase, Fortune favors the bold. As part of activities to encourage people to seize the opportunity, programs manager at CTFM, Jessica Parisa Foro, and her team have been visiting a number of schools, including the Ministry of Health Basic School at Kolebu and the Falsed Foundation School at Achimota in Accra. The top five contestants will be awarded with cash prizes. The overall winner will walk away with 5,000 Ghana CDs cash prize. The closing date for submission of entries is Saturday, September 3, and all entries are required to be handwritten and signed by a parent or guardian. And that's how we end today's edition of the City News Daily on City TV. My name is Farida Shaibu.